Howdy folks, you're watching Deuce and Guns, and today we're going to compare Through Night's brand new TC-15 to the old workhorse from Through Night, the TN-12. Now, I bought the TN-12 about a year before I started doing flashlight reviews on YouTube, and I have beat the dickens out of this thing. This thing has been driven over with the Deuce and a Half, the F-250, been dropped off a, dropped off a roof of a building, um, one-story building, so 10, 15 feet tall but still onto concrete was fine. And I have abused this thing to, to its nth degree and it still works just fine. Of course, uh, it's on low there, but there you go. <laughs> so it still works just fine. First of all, quick specs about the TC-15. The TC-15, one of its uh, cool things is the fact that it can go up to 2300 lumens. And now it only holds up to that, that amount of, of light for two minutes. And then it dials back to 820 lumens because it'll melt itself into a puddle if it stayed at the 2300 lumen mark, because that is a lot of power coming out of a very tiny package. So quite a bit brighter than the TN12 there at 1000 lumens or 1100 lumens, the brand new version is rated at. So we have 2300 lumens possible. It's normal high is 1000 lumens or 1050 lumens. So about 1000 lumens. And it has one button operation. There's no tail cap, there's no tail cap button like the TN12 has. So there's no tail cap button. It's all operated by one single button right there. And you have basically on, you hold it down. It goes through all the cycles from Firefly to uh, low, medium, high. And then you double click for turbo mode, which is the two minute long version of 2300 lumens. And to get the strobe light, you go into turbo mode and then you go to strobe light, which is another click there. And you bring your right into strobe light mode. Now that single on button has a battery level indicator built into it. It's a little LED light. And basically if you're between 20% and 100% charge, then it will show a blue light in that. When you are between like, I think like 5% to 20%, it'll glow red. And if you're below 5% charge, if you just have a few more minutes of flashlight battery left, it will blink red, letting you know that you need to change that battery or find another light source. It also has a maximum distance of 246 meters, so basically 250 yards, and it is IPX8 rated, so it can handle basically being two meters underwater, so six feet underwater basically, for an indefinite amount of time, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever. It can stand there for quite some time under quite a bit of water, and it can be dropped from a one and a half meter distance and survive. Now let's compare and contrast that with the old school through night TN12. Now the TN12 will do everything that the TC15 does, except it does not have the onboard charging and it does not go up to the turbo mode of 2300 lumens. Other than those two things, the TN12 does everything else exactly the same way. They both do about a thousand lumens under their high mode and their turbo mode. Both of them at that level last about an hour and a half out of water and both of them last about an hour underwater. I don't know why I said about the battery chemistry and the coolness of the water, not sure, but both of them do that. They both have firefly mode, they both have strobe light mode. The TN12 has the added benefit of the tail cap button. Of course, that's the only way to turn it on. And to further compare and contrast, the TN12 is about three quarters of an inch longer than the TC15. They're both about the same weight. The TC-15 has a better gripping surface. The TN-12 is a little slippery. Now, when you got your normal hands on here, it's fine. When you got gloves on, especially if the gloves have been in the water or if you're raining or whatever, you're in, you're in hazardous conditions or poor conditions, then you're going to notice the TN-12 quite a bit more slippery than the TC-15. In their highest mode, the TN-12 does get hotter. It gets to be about 130, 140 degrees Fahrenheit versus the 110 degrees Fahrenheit that the TC-15 got. It basically lowers down the, the voltage a little bit, so it does drop the lumens a little bit as it heats up. So it does not retain that thousand lumen capability throughout its entire battery cycle. It does power down just a little bit. Versus the TN-12, it's kind of a dumber technology, older technology, so it just keeps on powering through and gets hotter and hotter until it's kind of hard to hold. And lastly, they both cost about the same amount of money. They're both between the 50 and $60 range. So which one would I recommend? The brand new Through Night TC-15 or the old school Through Night TN-12? Well, honestly, I'm gonna tell you the best bet, the best bargain on there is the TN-12. I was all prepared to spout how good of a flashlight this was. It basically had all the capabilities of this 
plus onboard charging, plus it could go up to 2300 lumens. And then I started testing it. I started testing it for its durability and it failed miserably. First of all, the bucket test, I did finally get it to work, but as this was shipped to me, it was shipped with the incorrect size O-ring inside here. Cause if you take it apart here, we have the, the actual front there. We have the battery. We have the tail cap here, right there. And you have a tube. This tube has an O-ring on either side of it. One side was shipped with an incorrectly sized O-ring. And that let all kinds of water in. I tested it twice. I made sure that it was not me. It was the, the product itself. Every time that I mention this flashlight, someone always asks me about the charging flap, that little, little rubber flap there. And I will say, I have never seen any water intrusion because of that little flap. But an incorrectly sized O-ring, oh yeah, that's where all the water came in at. Now, luckily, this, uh, this flashlight ships with two extra O-rings, and they happen to be the correct size. So I replaced the bad O-ring with a new O-ring, tested it out again, and it was watertight finally. Now, if that was the only problem, I could overlook it. And I was prepared to. I was prepared to say, okay, this is what happened. It leaked. Uh, someone had an incorrect O-ring in their basket when they were assembling these things together. I get it. Mistakes happen. I had the correct O-rings in there, and you're good. But... Then something else happened during testing. I dropped it on concrete as it's supposed to be able to take. I dropped it. Here's, here's the, the aftermath of what happened. I did not record the actual dropping, unfortunately. I wish I did. The through night people say that this is good for a one and a half meter drop. So I dropped it from about this height onto concrete floor. I'm kind of dark there, but I dropped it from about this height on concrete floor and check out that lens there. Completely shattered. I mean, it, it, it could actually cut you. It's not, it's not opened up. It is still a usable lens, but through night, what are you doing? What are you doing? Now I know this would be covered under warranty and all that good stuff, but still it should not have shattered. This is basically a recreation of what I just did here, which means it may break worse. So keep that in mind. I'm actually already dropping a broken flashlight, but here's what I did. Right there, one and a half meter drop, that's about the same. Now this time I landed on its tail. And does it still work? Uh-oh. <laughs> it doesn't... Oh, come on. Did it just... Oh, there we go, okay. Now, Through Night has a great return policy. So they would have no problem replacing this for you and getting this all squared away for you as, a, as one of their customers. You can hear the, the rattle. Now the TN12 is a little bit a little bit bigger. It might be a little bit heavier, just a fraction of a couple of grams heavier or whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, let's see, but it's just more, it's a more rugged light, a more usable light. This will not let you down nearly as easily as the TC15. Now, if it's a, for some reason you really need that 2300 lumen capability, then yeah, the TC15 is for you. Just don't drop it on concrete and you'll be fine. But if you need the most rugged flashlight that Through Night makes, I would throw my weight behind the TC12 or the TN12 as that as the best design they make as far as just ruggedness and capabilities. Now, again, it is only limited to 1100 lumens, but a thousand lumens is more than enough for pretty much every flashlight situation I ever had. Comment below, which flashlight would you want? the ultimate ruggedness but less capable TN12 or the much more capable but much less rugged TC15. Personally, I'm going for rugged, not for capability, but that's just my situation. Yours may be different. Well, guys, here for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go subscribe. A lot more is on the way. And through tonight, we'll be having all kinds of holiday sales this, uh, this December. And probably, I mean, they have sales all the time. So check out Amazon, check out throughnight.com. I'll leave links in the description and in the first comment below in the video. So go ahead and check that out. They have, they don't just sell these flashlights. They have all kinds of great stocking stuffers as well that, you know, they sell like the $10 flashlights, the $15 and $20 flashlights that are very, very rugged and very usable. I really like those as well. So check them out. Also, if you have any comments, questions, or show what it is, leave that in the comment box with the video. And of course, you guys have a great day. See ya. Oh, and I forgot to mention my FTC disclosure. 
the through night uh, people sent me this flashlight free of charge to review for you guys. Obviously, I did not give it a very good review. So uh, that should prove to you that I do not, I'm not in anyone's pocket. I will give you an honest to God review on everything that's sent to me.